Hello, you're watching Hornbill TV's Explainery. From Nagaland making history in the latest state assembly elections by electing two women legislators for the first time in the history of the state, another record might be made soon and this time it could be in the upcoming urban local bodies or ULB elections in the state with 33% women reservation. In today's Explainery, we will focus on the urban local bodies elections and its timeline in the state of Nagaland. It was the 74th Amendment to the Constitution of India in 1992 that brought constitutional validity to municipal or local governments. And in Nagalan, the civic body elections were held in the state in 2004 for the first time, in accordance with the Nagaland Municipal Act of 2001. In 2006, the Nagaland Municipal Act of 2001 was amended to include a 33% reservation for women in line with the 1992 constitutional amendment after which there was there had been widespread opposition to the amendment, as many Naga groups contended that the reservations are in contravention with Naga customary laws as enshrined in Article 371A of the Constitution, which accords the state special status and protects its traditional way of life. In February 2017, as the Nagalan government tried holding the elections, as per a Supreme Court directive to hold elections with 33% women reservation, the state was marred by violent protests that led to two deaths and ouster of the then Chief Minister T.R. Ziliang. The contention around the polls led the Nagaland government in December 2009 to indefinitely postpone municipal elections which were due in 2010. In 2011, the Naga Mothers Association petitioned in the Gauti High Court on the issue. Many leaders from the NMA as well as other tribal women's group in Nagaland also formed the Joint Action Committee on Women Reservation in the same year to press for the issue. However, despite the High Court directing the government to hold the elections in 2011, the Nagaland Assembly in 2012 adopted a resolution rejecting women's reservation in ULBs. Thereafter, that, thereafter the NMA filed a special leave petition in the Supreme Court making its case for reservations. It was on the basis of this petition that the Apex Court ordered the state government to conduct elections in 2017. The state assembly revoked its 2012 resolution and agreed to hold elections. However, as the elections were announced and the opposition to it turned violent, leaving two that in February 2017, the NMA withdrew its name for the petition. Thereafter, the People's Union for Civil Liberties made itself a party to the case. In October 2021, a committee was formed by the state government to review the Municipality Act 2001. In February 2022, the Supreme Court wrapped the Nagalan state government for delaying the election, saying that an important aspect of gender equality seems to be getting postponed. Shortly after in March, the state government convened a meeting with all stakeholders including civil society organizations, churches, tribal bodies, political parties and NGOs and unanimously adopted a resolution to hold ULB polls. And after extensive consultations with tribal bodies, Naga tribal ho-hos, civil society organizations and all stakeholders, the state assembly passed the new Nagaland Municipal Act 2023 with 33% reservation for women in November last year. Provisions related to taxes, land and buildings were excluded from the Nagaland Municipal Act. On December 11th last year, the Supreme Court directed the state government to complete the entire ULB elections process by April 30th, 2024 and now the much-awaited elections to the urban local bodies in Nagaland are likely to be held in April after a gap of nearly 20 years. The State Election Commission has initiated a special summary revision of the electoral rolls for the ULB elections, including municipal polls. Addressing a press conference at his office in Koima, State Election Commissioner T. John Longcomer said the draft publication of the electoral rolls will take place on March 8th while the period for lodging claims and objections will be from March 11th to 20th. The period for disposal of claims and objections has been fixed from March 21st to the 27th, while the period for filing appeals to the respective appellate authorities will be from March 28th to April 3rd, he said, adding that the appellate authorities will dispose of the claims and objections from April 4th to 6th. Preparation of list of amendments after the decision of the appellate authority will be done from April 8th to 10th and final publication of electoral rules is fixed for April 12th, he said. He said it was necessary to revise and update the electoral rules for all the 39 municipal and town councils for the conduct of general elections since the last revision was held on November 24th, 2022. The state government has conveyed administrative approval 
for the conduct of specially summary revision of electoral rolls in the municipal and town councils on February 27th, he said. The election commissioner said the final call on the date of the poll will be taken only after the announcement of the Lok Sabha polls. Longkuma expressed confidence to complete the process as per the directive of the Supreme Court. For the revision on the strength of the provision contained under Section 143, Subsection 1 of the Nagaland Municipal Act 2023, the e-roll as published on November 24, 2022, under the now repealed Nagaland Municipal Act 2001, shall be taken as the basis for draft publication purpose. The notification said, as indicated in the schedule, it shall be published under Rule 6, 1 of the Nagaland Municipal Election Rules 2023, the notification stated while mandating the respective electoral registration officers for giving wide publicity in this regard, as provided for under Rule 6.2. For the revision exercise, the provisions of Rules 4 to 10 of the aforesaid rule shall apply, it added. It also informed that no enumerator, supervisor, sector magistrate, etc. need to be appointed during the ensuing special revision. The individual claimant objections shall directly apply to the ERO in his or her office for inclusion, deletion, etc. Necessary guidelines for the revision have been issued for the ERO separately, the notification stated. Longkuma informed that ULB elections will take place in three municipalities, that is Kohima, Dmapura and Mokchung, and 36 constituent town councils in Nagaland. The last revision of the electoral roll was taken in 2022 and the final publication was done in November 24th. On that note, he said the total electors under the ULB elections would be 360,150 voters as of now, spread over 418 wards and 693 polling stations. Now, with the coming of elections, people of different municipalities and town councils could expect a sea of change with regard to their particular areas, as now councillors could address the issue directly. With Naga society very quick to point fingers at our elected representatives for all the issues during spring, summer, monsoon, autumn and winter, the ULB elections could be a breather for them as now all civic works in their respective municipalities and town councils can be directly addressed by the elected councillors. It's been nearly two decades since the last ULB elections were held, so now only time will tell if these elected councillors who are elected can actually stand strong to the famous slogan of Nagaland, change is coming. That was all for today's explanatory. For more explanaries like this, keep watching on Bill TV. Goodbye.